But what I can say is that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product. And it's going to be like a damn fine machine. The year 2023 can be considered the year that the Cybertruck ascends to the throne. What would happen if millions of Cybertrucks were driving on US roadways by then? Do you want to be one of the first to own this super electric pickup? If you're a Tesla fan, you've probably heard that Elon Musk has revealed the production version of the Cybertruck has many insane additional features and new specifications. Of course, there are still a lot of unknowns regarding this pickup vehicle. So, what's new with the Cybertruck for 2023? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. At Tesla's 2022 annual shareholder meeting, Musk disclosed that it won't be able to launch the highly anticipated pickup at the original prices as inflation and various issues have increased costs for an unknown number of vehicles. But I'm sure we've all thought about this one way or the other. And that is, what is the Cybertruck's price? And is it within your budget? We can make some predictions based on what was previously stated. Estimates of the price go up to around $4,900 per motor. The single motor version of the Cybertruck is said to be the most affordable model of the well-anticipated truck which can range from $39,990 to $44,890. The dual-motor all-wheel drive model will cost $54,980. For comparison, the dual-motor R1T will have a base MSRP of $67,500, making it $12,520 more expensive than the Cybertruck. Next, the tri-motor Tesla Cybertruck will be, the, be set to clock in at $74,980. That's an increase of around 20,000 from the dual motor Cybertruck. And finally, the quad motor trucks will be available for an additional fee from the tri motor variant for about $94,000. However, Elon Musk said that after the number of Cybertruck deliveries increases, its price will decrease to its original price. Now let's talk about charging. The Cybertruck is a truly breathtaking electric vehicle. But before you decide to buy it, let's see what the future charging stations for Elon Musk's electric pickup truck will look like. The Cybertruck will be produced at Giga Texas, and it'll feature the same 4680 battery cells and structural battery pack as the Model Y. To achieve a 500 mile EPA range rating, Tesla will have to pack a 250 kilowatt hour battery into the Cybertruck. It can charge an empty battery to 100% in about 21 hours and 30 minutes on a regular charge at home at a speed of 22 miles per hour or in about 44 minutes on a fast charge at a speed of 441 miles per hour. If the 350 kilowatt V4 supercharger station is deployed quickly within the next year, the charging time will be shortened to only about 25 minutes. Currently, a post on Twitter shows some images of the new charging stations installed in Santanella, California. It looks like the Cybertruck could have a dedicated supercharger and we can't help but be amazed at the sheer size of it. The dimensions of the new model were taken into account when designing the station's parking spaces. The Cybertruck's wheelbase measures 149.9 inches. It is 231.7 inches long and 79.8 inches wide. Now here comes the fun part. What's new about Cybertruck's design? Well, we do have a new exoskeleton to look forward to. It's a known fact that the Cybertruck will share its stainless steel exoskeleton with the spacecraft. The Starship is designed to withstand both the hot and freezing temperatures that space has to offer, and the 304L stainless steel alloy was initially selected due to its strength and durability for the Mars lander. 304L exhibits excellent corrosion resistance and has a high ease of fabrication and outstanding formability, which means it remains sufficiently ductile to withstand strong shock loading so it will reduce the dangers for pedestrians as well as increase the durability of the Cybertruck. When Elon Musk figured out the limitations of the 30X, he switched over to the 304L because it could handle harsher conditions. Now, let's really get the wheels rolling. 
literally. According to Tesla, they plan to use airless tires for the Cybertruck Monster, with the first 100% sustainable material and maintenance-free tire. This tire is supplied by Goodyear, one of the world's largest tire companies based in Ohio. It is 35 inches and costs about $300, twice the price of a regular tire. Airless tires have lower maintenance requirements and are better capable to handle heavy loads. According to Tesla, they added that since these tires are impervious to punctures, you can drive over nails, potholes, or even the surface of Mars. Airless tires develop traction on sandy, undulated terrain in regions that humans have never seen up close before. They can carry about 10 times the weight and can last for up to 100 times the distance. Window shopping? Speaking of windows, we're talking about the Cybertruck window. After the glass breaking incident happened, Elon Musk assured the audience that Tesla would fix the shortcomings of the armored glass in the coming future with new material. He said that transparent metal glass would represent an innovation for Cybertruck. Elon is the hardest polycrystalline transparent ceramic available today and is used in military-grade vehicles as bulletproof glass. Compared to conventional bulletproof glass, Elon is both 50% lighter and two times stronger. It's also resistant to scratches, radiation, and different acids and bases. Elon is resistant to high temperatures and significant impacts as well. Thus, this makes Elon a fantastic and the most appropriate choice in order for us to explore space in style. But since we're talking about a Tesla vehicle, we've, we've obviously have to mention the FSD software. According to Musk, all four cars will come with basic autopilot as standard, but the full self-driving option will be available for an additional fee. 2023's Cybertruck will use FSD Beta version 10.69.3 to give the car the ability to assess the velocity of fast-moving traffic. The FSD Beta version 10.69.3 package currently sells for $15,000. We expect the cars will also be eligible for a $199 a month FSD subscription. Boat Mode Elon Musk says that the Cybertruck is going to be waterproof enough to cross rivers. The currently available Rivian R1T can ford up to 43.1 inches. The Ford F-150 Lightning will probably float as well once it gets into deep enough water. The problem isn't floating, it's staying afloat and controlling your truck boat without a rudder or additional propulsion. Cybertruck can actually do these extraordinary things, and it sounds like this pickup is going to come with an undercarriage waterproof enough to be able to float, and with the propulsion from the wheels, drivers should be able to get around slowly in calm water. It would likely travel like a boat between 5 to 10 knots, which would make the trip somewhere around 51 minutes on average depending on conditions. So, that's what's new with the Cybertruck for 2023. How do you feel about it? And do you like the new 2023 update for the Cybertruck? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.